Yo, what is up guys? It's your girl Ifa My Name back with another one for you today and I'm coming at you with a vlog. This is like a day after I got my tattoo done so I'm just showing you a little bit of tattoo aftercare considering like this is what I gotta do. So yeah, like I got my little Shinron dragon on my back. You know what's up, I love me some Dragon Ball Z and Shinron is the goat, so of course. So yeah, I just take a clean towel and I use dial soap and I just wash it with warm water. I start with washing my face in the morning, brushing my teeth, yada yada yada. Y'all already know, going to take a shower, but I'm not taking a shower this time because I'm doing laundry and then I will take a shower after laundry. Already know, gotta wash your face for 60 you seconds. Mark. Get set, go! That's how I take care of my nose piercing. Dial soap. And just take a little cotton swab or whatever and just clean it. Same thing for my tattoo. Clean towel, dial soap, hot water. I was starting to scab up so I might have some flakes some, somewhere on my back or something. Nope, I look pretty clean. Well, now I have flakes. <laughs> and I'm itchy, so. <laughs> so dry it off. Lubiderm. So yeah, this is just the line work. I'm gonna get the shadowing done in a couple months. Finish getting prepared finally put on a shirt so I can stop dealing with this damn boob slip. I actually normally don't wear my wig to bed. Out laundry and this is this little bikini that I made from a bandana. I have yet to wear it, but one day I will. I love this. Like, it's a, like I didn't think it was so tiny until I asked Mark and he was like, yeah, that's tiny. <laughs> and then I made the bottoms for it too. And they're a high, low waist, I wanna say. I don't remember exactly how they look like. So welcome to my kitchen. As you can see, my pole is in the middle of the kitchen. It is not gonna be there for long. I'm hoping to move it soon. I just need to find a contractor who can like assure me I'm not gonna rip my roof apart or like make a shingle come down or something. So I'm making myself coffee because I need coffee every morning. Why go to Starbucks when you can just make coffee at home? And then my little plants. Some of them have died because of this Texas heat is no joke. I'm finally here. Didn't want to say anything because Mark was sleeping. So, didn't want him to be like, are you talking to me? <laughs> so what is up y'all? It is your girl Ilfe Monet back with another one for you today. This is a morning vlog. Very impromptu because one, I just wanted to like 
record like taking the saran wrap off because I've been had like I have to do this for three days so it's just kind of like let me just show what it's like waking up in the morning you know with the tattoo and then I was just like you know what let me just actually do a vlog today since I have I don't have much to do actually not like I normally have because normally in the morning I have um, a couple things like some projects I need to finish up but I finished them all yesterday so I don't have anything really I do have something I need to work on I'm working on um, rhinestoning shirts or making rhinestone designs it's not easy right now because one like you got to make the rhinestone template and all that and then you got it the size and stuff like that it's just kind of like I did make a template but the holes on the template were too small so I couldn't really use them to make my template I had to like glue on top and what ended up happening was the diamonds the rhinestones weren't sticking so I was like maybe if I put tape behind the stencil like I can get it to work that way but that didn't work so I was like okay well maybe if I use some spray adhesive to kind of like give it to help it be tacky and then maybe I can like wet it to wet it on the back to remove it that did not work like the diamonds ended up getting glued onto the paper and it was just like well f I just wasted all these damn diamonds rhinestones yeah that's all I've been doing I've been working on cherry girls really trying to get some designs in finish up some designs um and so let me just say this real quick I ain't really got anything going on right now I do have pole class chair dancing class tonight so that's why I am recording because I was like you know what let me do a vlog you know so you can see like what I do in a day I'll try to make this as interesting as I can, you know. Uh, this same vehicle, uh, at that time, there's a charge for criminal damage for shooting into that vehicle. Also, uh, Officer Roth is also uh, Officer Roth is charged with seven violations of office. Each one of those carries a one to five sentence. Uh, these are violations of his oath of office for the city of Atlanta arresting Mr. Brooks for the DUI without immediately informing him of the arrest, uh, shooting a taser oh, at Mr. Brooks. He did just grab his arm. Away, which again is a um, violation While he was running away, of yeah. his own SOP. Uh, thoroughly excessive Twice in the back. Failure to render a timely. Wow. Is the Kicking. failure to render timely medical aid. Those are the four violations of oath. The eighth is for kicking yeah. Mr. Brooks and the possible sentence for kicking Mr. Brooks is from one to 20 years. And we actually- Oh my gosh. And these are the charges for um, Officer Brosnan and their total of three charges. And first charge is for aggravated assault. What? And this is for Where are you going? standing. Yeah, that just happened like maybe, well, maybe now, like maybe 30 minutes ago. But at that time, that was like 13 minutes ago. But yeah, Mark got upset, you know, because we were watching, like you saw it, uh, you could see the cop kicking him in his back. You could just see the aggressiveness, like, just the lurch or whatever you call it, to kick him in his back in that moment. It was just, it was hard to see. And it's not even like, at this point, it's not even like, you just see him like you see that could possibly happen to any black male that you know or i'm not gonna say black woman it definitely happens to black women but i mean like i'm sure he wouldn't be kicking a black woman like that in that moment surrounded by all those cars you know but it can definitely happen to the black males in our lives so i think people need to stop taking this as 
that'll never happen to me to this could possibly, this probably will happen to me or someone I know. Because you think about it, you think about it with coronavirus, you're like, I don't, like, I don't think that's going to happen to someone I personally know. And guess what? It's happened to at least one person for sure I know. And then I think a second person is getting tested. But, yeah, like, you don't think, it, you, you don't think you'll know anybody. You don't think it's something that's possible to happen and... It just happens. And right now, it seems like it's happening ex exponentially. Or not that it's happening exponentially, but people are... This is something that's normal. And people are finally saying, no, that's not okay. This should not be happening. You know? So it's, it's just hard to see. You know? Like, you just got to thank God that things are being done now. And you just got to hope that it will make a change for the better. You know? But, yeah. So, I'm not really doing anything right now. I was about to eat. I got the two for five. So, I was about to eat my second sandwich, but... I think I'm a little bit too full for that. So, I guess, let me wrap it up. So, I'm working on the rhinestone thing. I need to see what size rhinestones I bought. I hate Amazon. I hate Amazon. Why did I say it like that? I hate on Amazon how you can't check the description. Like, it'll show you the title of what you bought, but not exactly what you bought if you had different choices. Hi, so, are you going to fall? Last minute decision, I decided I wanted to go to the store and go get some boots. Sorry, again, my little bougie phone holder. I decided I want to go to the store and get some boots, but right now I'm cleaning out my purse because my purse is a mess. And I just got sh all inside of it and I need to clean up my purse because I can never find my purse that I ever need Damn, that you see like I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah um, I have my regular boots you know I showed you those in my um, video but I have those boots but I don't want to because those are my favorite boots and those are kind of like the expensive ones even though I got them at a discount so they're really not that expensive but those are like the ones I really want to take care of oh ow not that one like this is where I, I always put my purse on this arm but I don't know exactly um let me make sure everything's locked up turn off the light Doors are closed because they will get in the trash cans. Yep, doors are closed. Okay, what was I saying? I'm so I'm so distracted. Do they have food? They barely have any food. Let me refill their bowls. The one I normally go to is pretty far. And I'm just kind of like, do I really feel like driving out that far? Okay. Bye, girls. Yeah, hold on, let me make sure the side door is unlocked. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, I just realized my car is in the garage. All right. Let's over here. Back garage door. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be careful pulling out because I did not know this heat gun was under my car. 
And boy, when I pulled in, I thought I hit some shit. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, there's Reese's in my car. Who knows how long that's been in there? Okay, I'm gonna have to go because I don't even have my mount up, so we'll see y'all. Like y'all, like I know, don't drive and like be on your phone, but oh my, f I am so stressed the f out. Like I am literally shaking. I almost got into a f wreck. It wouldn't have been my fault. Wouldn't have been my fault. But you know how motherfuckers are during traffic, all on each other's. And that person happened to be right in front of me. Like, it's just Dallas traffic in at 6.30. Ridiculous. Like, I left around at 5, and it took me like 27 minutes to get there. And then I probably, I don't know how long I left to go. But it's taken me 35 minutes to get back home because of traffic. But it's just crazy. Um, I'm sorry I didn't record inside. I couldn't record inside. It's a not sex store. It doesn't sell dildos or anything like that, but it is like a lingerie store. So you can't record. But I went in that place. They had Kendall and Kylie. Like they had this Kendall and Kylie set. And I was like, that is so fucking cute. You know, like I'm going to get this because I have this one lime green bottom at the house. And I literally just found the top to it. They didn't have the top to it last time I got the bottoms. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna... Traffic. I need to get off. I know, I need to stop recording. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy this. It costs $120. Oh, I need to... Okay, so... I was like, no, y'all are definitely, like, upticking the price on this because it's Kendall and Kylie and it's in your store. Like, I mean, I'm sure somebody can afford it, but not me. <laughs> so, I'm on my way home now. I'll show you what I got. I wanted these pink shoes, but they didn't have my size. They had my, like, my regular size is nine, but I, they were just small and too tight. So I asked for a size 10 and they didn't have them. But I got these other shoes for like half off. They're like the clear bottom ones. But what I really wanted ones were shoes that weren't open toe because the other shoes I have are open toe and I don't feel like painting my toes. So that's why I got them. At least they were half off and I had a coupon. So we were chilling, we're good. We're good. So let me get off the phone.
Just got here. I thought I was gonna be late. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I got here, I spilled my drink all over the floor. <laughs> I didn't know the lid was off. And it just spilled all over my leg. I think it got on the floor, but some girls have their shoes off. I'm like, I did not do my toes. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, 
with these classes they don't teach the same thing over and over again like they'll ask you what you've learned or like if you know something already or like if you've done this before they'll ask you and they'll modify the class by it like when I go to class, like, you can follow the routines that they teach you, but, ugh, my lights, like, my lights are so fucking low in this car, I cannot see. <laughs> but, um, luckily there's street lights, you know, but, uh, what was I was talking about? So it's like, when I go to class and stuff like that, like, basically they tell you, it's easier for you to learn these classes and for you to do these things when you don't have a dance background. Like it helps you having a dance background, but when you don't have a dance background, it's easier for you to freestyle and do different things. So it's just kind of like with me, I mean, I, I, I follow strippers and stuff like that on my Instagram and I follow like stripper meme pages or something like that. So I always see different type of dances and moves and stuff like that. So it's just kind of like, when I go to my classes, I just freestyle, like, cause you're probably gonna do the same move like three times in a row. So it's just kind of like, if you think of something else that's possible with the move, then do it, you know? And if anything, they'll help you like figure it out or they'll like be like, yeah, that's how, that's, that's another move you can do. So it's like one move that you can easily do that everybody goes into no matter what even on pole is the split or um you know just opening your legs and what you can do when you open your legs is you could just like do a fake wiggle see my thing it's really hard for me to like wiggle my ass and that's like the um internal not internal but you know like the thigh wiggle like I can't do it without like moving my whole leg to wiggle. So it looks funny, but I mean, sometimes it, like you look like Dorothy, but I mean like, it's a hard move, you know, like you have to learn muscle isolation in your thighs. But yeah, I'm gonna head, I'm almost home. Well, not almost home, I, I still gotta get on the highway, but I'm tired. But yeah, like I said, we'll see how this video goes. I recorded a shit ton, like at least 50 uh, hours worth of footage, probably almost an hour's worth of footage. Some of it is just like footage where I can just fast forward because I'm not talking in some. So hopefully it's not too In much. half a mile, turn left on Lyndon B. Johnson oh, Freeway East. Then stay the left. <laughs> got home I'm tired as hell my feet hurt you know when you're so tired that you just start dropping shit <laughs> like you'll grab something and you'll just drop it and it's kind of like the f so I got my hair wrapped up ready to go hopefully like I mean like my edges are already like off but I mean like hopefully like my hair won't get too messed up from everything. So what is up guys? Oh. See this is better. So what is up guys? It is your girl Il Monet back with another one for you today about to sign the f off. It has been a whole day. I didn't think I was gonna be busy today but I ended up being busy because there's just some things that you know like last minute stuff I decided to do. So, yeah, this is me. Hopped out the shower. Um, like I said, washed it. And then I put some lotion on it afterwards. Put the Lubriderm on it. And now I'm all wrapped up to go to bed. I have to do this for three days. So I think... This is my third night, yeah, so this is my last night being wrapped up like this. Um, I can already feel it scabbing, so I should be good to go to bed. 
like this and not have to worry about, you know, like infection, you know, coming from the bed. Because that was the biggest thing about the first night was since it was freshly opened and stuff like that, I couldn't sleep directly on my bed. And plus also, um, uh, it, it's already hard with all this plastic on me. So it makes me sweat at night. So I'll like wake up with a puddle of sweat under these things. So yeah, I can't wait. And plus it, it's hard for me to sleep like this too. So yeah, I can't wait, but I'm all wrapped up. Basically got a wrap. So basically I put a long piece first, wrap that down my back and then I tape it down from the bottom, tape it in the midsection tape it up here have enough to work and like make a sleeve out of it my first couple days I was using like four pieces of saran wrap just to wrap this thing and now this is only one piece <laughs> I'm supposed to have Mark help me but I mean most of the time like Mark is just I ain't got time to wait for Mark to help me so I just go ahead and do my own thing I mean I just go ahead I'm tired as is so I literally just realized like I wanted to include Mark in the vlog but I mean like he just had his own things to do and I was busy so we really just couldn't well I did have him in the vlog for that one part well not actually in the vlog but you get what I mean or he got upset but yeah I'm ready for bed I hope you guys like this video. I will see you all next time. Peace out.